bought the boat shed about 17 years ago as a place uh, for me to work really. Yeah, had a slipway and yeah, fix boats and hang out by the water. <laughs> Cup is drawn. The shed next door was owned by an old fellow called Max Thorpe. His son um, inherited it and he decided to sell it. And I just told the other lads down there that were involved in the cooter boat that we're restoring there, told them that it was up for sale and they rallied around and they bought it amongst themselves, which was bloody great for me because I ended up with all the mates next door. <laughs> we just wanted to hang out. Hang out by the yeah, water. Yeah, we had wanted a reason to hang out. Mm. And you do a little bit each day. Not too much. No, we we'll do too much. five minutes. We like to ease off. Before we start. Start off slow and then ease up. So the boat shed allows people to come together who have a commonality but also uh, who may not socialise in other areas. It's a private space that's very generously allowed a social aspect to evolve and develop to a meeting place. And I believe this has always been a meeting place from ancient times and it's no surprise really that it continues to be that. The boat shed is a small place that, that brings a lot of different people together. And it really connects lots of families, connects lots of children that don't play together at school but, but understand each other and each other's families and social dynamics. <laughs> This boat has been such a part of our lives for six years. Um, what do I want to do every Monday six years ago? I have no idea. No doubt we've all been doing something, but not as probably a group. You know? mm. Yeah, it's more than a cooter boat. We've built like a little, I don't know what you call it, a little family. The boat behind me is a classic example of of the creative process that can happen here. A lot of skills today are being lost, where Lindsay has used traditional skills that have come through generations of boat builders, and Lindsay's continuing on this process of approaching boat building in that traditional way. We'll go down, start off as we'll go down half thickness. Oh yeah? yeah. yeah. And then we'll carve them in, and then I'll have to hand, hand, hand yeah. do the rest of it. Yeah. And having that connection to the past, and using tools very similar um, that they used, also honors you know, the process and honours the boat, and you pay big money to learn stuff like this. I came there one Friday night um, with my friend who couldn't put her roof racks on her car, and it was sorted and sold within minutes, you know. There's so many skills, there's so many different minds, there's so many people that have different influences to cut, that come together, and. I feel like it's like sharing our wealth and it's not about money. What's beautiful about the boat shed is that it's a really a relaxed atmosphere. It's a letting go place. You can just jump off the jetty and come back up and have a beer and, and laugh and, and let, all, let all your issues go. You can just talk about stuff and there's, you know, generally it's very, it's an unjudgmental place. Yeah, people just really relax down there and open up. It doesn't matter where you come from or what you did or what you did 20 years before. The fact that you're in a small community and you're connecting to each other within that community is really important. <laughs> when you're connected, you're, you're happier because you feel safer in this world and you have more to give and you feel richer because you're part of something that's broader and, and bigger. Being at the boat shed makes me feel happy. It's just such a nice place to work and hang out. Yeah. down here because there's always someone interesting to talk to and it's lovely. I love coming to the boat trip because I can see all my friends and family. Relaxed and productive. It's 
sort of like about the boat shed. I love coming to the boat shed because I love being close to the water. Um, it's a meeting place, I've met heaps of great people here and I keep coming back because we live close by and it's we love the boat shed. I like the boat shed and the boat shed likes me.